Hello, welcome to this colourful vlog for cast on number six. I am Caroline and you can find me over as Kralalim, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, wherever it works, you know it. And I also have a web shop, it is uh, colourfulcreativity.nl. Um, today I am less prepared and that will be the same for the next cast ons if I can manage them. Um, because I have the yarn ready, uh, not even all wound, but I do not have the needles yet, I do not have project bags yet, so, and I do not have a printed pattern for it yet. Um, with all the hassle on the Dstash uh, Instagram account, I just haven't gotten around, and I really just wanted to knit yesterday on that headband, because, yeah, it was really nice and mindless, and still engaging knitting with the whole seat stitch. So today the yarn comes in a Ziploc bag. <laughs> and the pattern will be shown on my tablet. Um, for yarn, I have picked out this Arantia Botany Lace. I do not have the tag anymore. Um, somehow uh, it got lost while doing the whole uh, stash toss. Um, they were separate already from the balls and uh, I have put them somewhere that I thought it would be handy and somewhere is somewhere I don't remember where. Oh well, uh, I know what yarn it is and uh, the, the botany lace is actually a fingering weight, so it's a weird name. And for this yarn I do have the tags. I have two of the same balls of sparkly yarn. And this is Little Boo Yarns that I got in a D-stash from my friend Jennifer. And um, the colorway is a Surfer Dude. This is a Superwash Merino Nylon Sparkle 400 meters. So basically the standard sparkle sock base that I also have. Uh, if it focuses, you can see it here. If not, I'm really sorry. I am <laughs> saving up for that better camera still. And um, thank you so much to those who have already donated on Ko-Fi. I uh, really, really appreciate it. And I now put a target in there for saving up for a new camera. And uh, yeah, yarn. What is it gonna be? Um, in my Lazy Stupid Godless Ravelry group, we have a Skenanigans along. So basically means any pattern from the designer Skenanigans, Ellie, um, we can knit. And I have picked the V-Nag Magpie because it's been in my queue for ages already. Um, I am not going to knit it in the colors like here. But there's also another option, and let me see if I can show that to you without giving away the pattern too much. Yeah, I think I can. I am going to knit it like this. So with just the contrast color on the shoulders and on the ribbing, and the rest in the main color. I'm not quite sure if maybe the back is also in the contrast color because I haven't seen the back but I think it's just the uh, yeah it's just the shoulders option two sweater neckline and shoulder panels are contrast color then front back and body are knit in main color so yeah that and you can see it it is quite boxy which is usually not my style but this is knit on Five and a half and six and a half millimeter needles, which means it is going to be really loose and drapey and nice for summer, like wearing a tank top and that over it, because a tank top is enough. Um, I am not going to make it crop. I'm gonna make it longer. I've seen a few uh, examples of that on uh, Ravelry in the project, and I really like that. And that also means that I need a little bit more yarn, because you could knit this out of one. Uh, skein of yarn it says with a little contrast um, I'm not a believer I'm just not <laughs> uh, for my size I think I need maybe a little bit more especially not cropped 
but we'll see. Uh, I mean, I knit my um, love note. It was also on six millimeter needles, I think, or five and a half. Really big needles. And uh, I only used 1.8 and that was a long sleeves thing. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do with the sleeves, if I'm making them long or short. I will see how much yarn I need. So that is what I'm going to cast on. I haven't read the pattern yet. I haven't swatched at all. And I think I'm not gonna bother with swatching. <laughs> uh, just because, well, it's big needles and if it's an inch extra of ease, then you won't notice in such a drapey boxy thing. And yeah. <laughs> this could be a disaster, people. Yes, this could be. We will see. I'll be back tomorrow. The result of it. So, how far did I get yesterday? And, better yet, I found a project bag first. <laughs> I uh, I put it in a project bag from the lovely Angela of Yarn and Yarns. I thought that was very fitting. I'm trying to find a project bag matching her two to twelve cast -ons. Um I printed out the pattern because it was too difficult to put it on a knit companion with all the sizes and there's a tracking system in there so you can just uh, check what you did and it's better to do that on paper in my opinion and what I did here's the yarn is procrastinate a lot uh, I had to read the full pattern I had to mark it down and I was like, oh goodness, I don't want to start. So I baked some cookies, made you a photo of that. Um, <laughs> Pix is on the loose and Robert is in the room. So <laughs> he was trying to climb Robert to get to all the loose screws and all the tools that we've got lying around because Robert is working with one of the light fixtures. Also known as Pintus being an ass. <laughs> um, but here it is, my cast on. And it looks a bit like the beginnings of a string or a thong. How do you want to call it? We call it a string. Um, but yeah, it's a long end of I-cord and one shoulder part. <laughs> That's what I have now. Stitches on hold. And uh, yeah... I couldn't continue last night because, um, well, those of you who follow me longer know that I made a mistake in the bubble cardigan by picking up the eye cord in the wrong place. Um, you do shoulder bits and then you do the back and somewhere I twisted for the shoulder bits and I took the wrong V of the eye cord and I didn't want to mess this one up. And this is a darker yarn, so yeah. It's more difficult to pick up in the evening. Uh, so I didn't continue on the second shoulder, but I put it away for safekeeping. And uh, we'll continue after the whole 12 cast ons. But that meant that I didn't have any knitting for about an hour. And I was like, okay, I'll pick up yesterday's project. Um, so I have here, a bound off headband, ta-da, fits, might even be a bit too long, but it should be like this, I think, but okay, we'll try. Um, I have already <laughs> uh, done the whole sewing it together, but apparently I did it wrong because it looked really frumpy and ugly and it didn't do what it was supposed to do. And then I looked again, I was like, oh, okay, I did it wrong all along. Um, I'm not sure. I just put it like this and went through the whole thing in one go. But apparently you only go these bits together and these bits together so it still opens. And that makes sense because then it looks better. But I had already woven in my ends, cut the tail, so I know I've teeny tiny bit that I have to weave in and a longer tail and um, the longer tail I'll also weave in and I'll get a separate P 
piece to sew it together because well so technically I'm already almost one width down <laughs> um, yeah this is for the future and um, I will see you back tomorrow with a new cast on but what's it gonna be any guesses bye bye